I wouldn't really call it cheating, but uh, one thing you can use if you're trying to uh, draw a planet um, is you can use the bottom of a coffee cup or basically any cup, really, anything round, something like this even. This is the uh, lid of a seasoning bottle, bottle of seasoning. <laughs> There's the seasoning right on top. So I just unscrewed this from the seasoning bottle, and then I'm going to use it to make a circle. And you do that just by holding this, pushing this shit out of the way. Sorry for the, um, the way this is set up, but I'm using my laptop frame to, <laughs> to hold the camera. So uh, anyway, so then you're going to come in here, right? And, uh, and you're just going to trace this outside edge. You don't want it to have any hang-ups or giddy-ups on the outside. You know, you don't want anything that's going to catch the pencil. Because then it'll, it'll create a... And ideally, quite frankly, this, no, this is good. This should be sharp, sharpened better. Uh, ideally, you're going to sharpen your pencil before you do this. And you just go around the outside like that, right? And you get to your estimation of a decent enough round circle. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Because you can you can trim this off here easily. And so that's one way of making a making a planet or a circle is just to use the base of a cup or anything circular as uh, as your template. And if you really want to do something, you will figure out a way. <laughs> Because that's what orders do. Anyway, okay. See you later. So this is just like a, a quick sketch up of the um, James Webb Space Telescope image of Jupiter. It's just a quick sketch. It's not something I'm going to fix or anything. Uh, and it's always fun. But you know, when you're dealing with space, it's so black, right? And black makes everything pop. And so as you're coming around towards the, the edges of the planets and stuff, you got to be careful when you're using colored charcoal because it's wild and it gets away from you. Anyhow, see you later.